tear this puppy down. It's good. So the weight was she's pretty much spot on to what they said, which is good. Let's get this puppy apart. See if there's anything interesting in it. Okay, it looks like so they are slightly rounded. Also, I sent me one out, which is good of it. Pretty normal size. So interesting, we've got screws under the skates, pretty normal, um, but only two on this one, not at the front. Let's get the label off. Nice clips on the side. Ooh, oh, oh my God. Got a bit of a tight cable. Using a mixture of switches, which is a little bit of a shame. Shot off the bat, we're not the end of the world. It's got KL8s in it, and it's using a Hawaiian yellow dot. Why not? Why not? Uh, someone tell me why they don't use a KL8 in there. I just I don't get it. I don't get it. So interesting, so it's a bit like the super light in terms of the way the buttons are with two screws at the back, independent. Um, so that's good. They've definitely learned from the XM, so from the X light, because the X light was part of the shell and they had more pre-travel, so this is a better setup. Other than that, the buttons look slightly different the setup on them. We've got like the a slight bar rotation is screwed in, pin and then this looks normal, These, this button configuration, the way they've done this. Um, the XM2, so the M42's got a better button setup, I would say. That's probably the best button setup I've seen on any mouse at the moment, that M42. Badass. But these are pretty decent anyway, to be fair as well. Oh, okay, it's got full size switches. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. But they're not KL8s, which is a bit disappointing. But they are Hawaiian white dot, which you said, but just a bigger size. Um, mini LED diffuser. Okay, full size. They definitely feel good for full size ones. So, kudos to them for that. A different PCB than we've seen. It's got the L shape bracket for the switches, which we've had to mod before. We did it on the uh, was it MZ one, we did it on. I can't remember. screws in it, same ones as before. It's nicely optimized. It feels a very light plastic they've used. Now normally these buttons on the super light are three and a half grams. These feel definitely a bit less. You can see the curve better on here now. Which I like this comfort groove. That's one thing I don't like about the light is the buttons. I like that comfort groove. Oh. Comfort groove so far is so good. So good. The best comfort grooves out there at the moment are on the MZ1 though. Which... So 
So the buttons weigh a gram less than a super light. And there's still some improvements you can make with the side buttons to get them even better. I say you may definitely need them wide. Look how small they are. They are like so small the side buttons. So small. They definitely need to make them bigger, but they can make a better design of them, I think. It's not bad the design, but I think it could take some inspiration from some other places. But they're good still, don't get me wrong. There's no problem with these side buttons really. But people might complain a bit narrow. Alright, well there's the main shell. Still see it's fingerprintless, which is good. Well constructed, thought this out. It's nice. Interesting rotation, it's straight rather than across the back. And um, the X lights are across the back. Most mice are putting them like um, horizontal rather than vertical, so in no B. So they already told us the 300, 300 milliamp battery, which is a decent size. I'd be interested to see what the battery life's like on this 3395. Um, Looks like a standard uh, 1.5 mil JST with the 1.5. Looks like a 9 mil encoder, we'll find out. So we've got five screw points, which is interesting. We've got two at the front here, one behind the scroll wheel, and then two at the rear. These are different screws, so they've used three different screws in this, which is all right, fair enough. I don't understand companies again using different screws when you can save money, I guess. And a DPI. Oh, I forgot that one. A bit of Pulsar, so nice to sort of logo in on this. It's not like overly branded. If you want to keep it slick, but I see these come out a lot of different colors. They're pretty sexy, I think. Sexy front clip, a bit like Zari. How Zari did their front shells, it hooks into the front. It's nice, really nice. I quite like the screw options on some of the front because you can adjust the pre travel, but not bad. It's got to be eight grams. I don't know where Pulsar get their scroll wheels from, but they are the best scroll wheels around at the minute. And um, that and razors are pretty good in general, but these ones are really nice. It's a bit lighter than the uh, X Lite one, it's not as big. Good weight. And we can change the rubber. Are they lightened out the inside bit? No, okay. A lot of people are starting to take out weight um, by drilling out the. Uh, like the main like ring, I guess, of it. But not done here. It's still pretty light to be fair. Now I change the ring. There's the ring size. The power button. Pretty standard layout. Always reminds me of a bit of Mass Effect, this font. I don't know why. Is it just me? So obviously KL8's Haranu um, black shell white, yellow dot. So they've got KL8's Haranu yellow dot, Haranu white dot. I don't get why they use so many different 
switches every company's doing it but good to see pulsar using proper side switches this time you obviously listen to the criticism ttc yellow gold encoder it's a bit different to see a gold encoder out. um i'm not a fan of ttc encoders 10 mil yep There is the Pulsar X2 broken down. 